Women's basketball season is back as the Wildcats prepare for their first game of the season against NJIT this Friday at 11 a.m. The team held its annual media day on Wednesday afternoon, giving us a glimpse at the 2014-15 squad. I'm excited, um, but I, as I'm sure all coaches feel right now, I'm not really sure what to expect, to be quite honest with you, these next couple games. Um, you know, we have a really nice balance, I think, of youth. Uh, with our freshmen and, um, and some of our returners that are sophomores, but also, you know, we have a, a solid senior class. So it's going to be a, hopefully a nice balance of both. Um, but I think just with the, um, you know, season ending injury with Corinne uh, right at the very first day of practice, I think kind of threw us off a little bit. Um, but, you know, talking about the youth, I'm really excited about our freshman post. So, you know, that's that's the one thing that everybody's going to be re be ready to play. And I think everybody's really going to have an opportunity to to learn right right from the start. And, uh, and I think on Friday, you're going to see that you're going to see a lot of different um, rotations, you're going to see a lot of different faces, new faces, different lineups that maybe we haven't had before. Um, but that's an exciting thing. And I think every day, our younger kids are understanding our system and understanding what you know what we need but you know obviously graduating Kelsey and now with Corinne being out um, that's a lot of points it's a lot of minutes to kind of figure out but um, like I said a lot of people are in the same boat so I'm sure everything will you know work out and our kids are, are really excited about the challenge. The Wildcats learned early on that they would be without junior forward Corinne Koya for the duration of the season. Koya suffering a knee injury on the first day of practice. We all took it pretty hard in the very, very beginning. Corinne was obviously a huge piece of the puzzle to who we were as a team last year. But I think just like in, in years past, like we respond very, very well to adversity. Like we haven't really had a season since I've been here where a key player of ours hasn't had some sort of injury. You know, like. Kelsey Hogan, for instance, you know, she had knee problems all throughout her career, but we always rise to the occasion, I think, and I think that's what makes us so good. I mean, obviously, it's, it was quite the, quite the fall down for having her not there as a rebounder, present, rebound present, as well as um, the offensive present. But I think people rise to the occasion. As, as the coach said earlier, we have um, people that, that can, they can step up and they can fill the role if it's the transition. Steph can run the court like no one else too, so she can do that part. And it's about like finding those little pieces and putting them together. And I think it's, it's adversity, so a challenge comes with it no matter what. But um, I mean, people only can get better from that. The Cats are ranked third in the America East preseason poll after finishing 12-4 and in conference play a year ago. You know, and it's, it's exciting because I think the last few years we have been picked in the, in the upper half of the league and we've, and we've produced and we've finished in the upper half of the league. So now I think we just have to, you know, take each game one at a time but, but know that, you know, long gone are the days where – People didn't expect much from UNH, and and we have to to be able to know that, and we're expected to to have a winning season, and we're expected to finish, you know, third in the league, and and that's a tough. I think this year in the league, that's going to be a really really tough thing to do, and if we can find a way to do that, you know, I'd be thrilled, especially with the adversity that we've already seen so far. But um, I think the girls are very focused this year, um, especially the senior class. I've been especially hard on the senior class, and I'm sure they'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but I know that they can handle it and they can take it, and I know that you know, they want what's best for this team and, and for this program. They've been here for four years, and they've really seen it pretty much from the beginning. And um, to them, you know, they want to make sure that they finish on a high note. And, and, and our ultimate goal is to make it to the championship, obviously. And anything can happen in the championship, and we want to make it to you know, the NCAAs, and I think this, this senior class deserves that. Honestly, I think skies are the limits. I think we, our core group of people that we have coming back are going to do big things. And I think we also have a very, very good freshman class that is definitely going to help us. And I think the outsiders know what to expect from, you know, the, the class that we have returning, but I don't think they understand like how good our freshman class is. And once we get our chemistry down with them and start really, really playing our potential, I think we're going to be very, very dangerous.